Hey guys, it's David and in this video I'm gonna show you the advanced technique using multi-agents. What does it mean? It means that instead of using one language model or one AI agent, we'll actually have one top-level agent which will coordinate work of other agents. So it's like almost the same in the real world with humans. So imagine the project manager who is managing the work of different team members. So without further ado, let's get started. You might be familiar with standard RAC solution. Basically, RAC solutions allows us to uh, work with multiple data sources. We have one query engine, or if you want to call it one agent, uh, it can be one LLM, let's say it's uh, GPT-4.0, Gemini, or any other LLM which you would like to use. And RAC solution allows you to uh, basically query different uh, documents or even data sources. It doesn't necessarily have to be the single document, it can be different data sources. That could be your Gmail, that could be your uh, database, that could be your CRM system, and so on and so on. So this is very, very effective solution, which allows you to basically kind of talk to your data using brain of given uh, LLM, like Llama, GPT, and so on and so on. This is a super cool solution, and we use it a lot for our customers. However, it has some limitation. So limitation is that there is some limit on the context, right? Every uh, LLM has some context window size, and even though it's quite big, still it's sometimes it's not big enough to basically fit all data into it. So in other words, imagine that you have a set of documents, 200, 300, 500 documents, which you want your AI to analyze for you. If you're gonna use Rack solution, it's probably not gonna work, and we're gonna see the example of that very soon. Uh, but basically what's going to happen is the query engine will most probably try to find um, few files which match your criteria, your query, uh, your question, and focus on these documents, but it won't be able to load all of them into memory. So what's the solution here? The solution is to use multi-agents. Now, in this scenario, as you can see, we still have our question, uh, we have our uh, agent, but now we're going to call it top level agent. We can think about this as a coordinator and we're going to spin off on the fly different agents for different data source, right? So basically we'll have dedicated agent, de dedicated LLM or not necessarily LLM, but other sort of AI to work on uh, different document. It can be predictive model, it can be anything. Basically the point is that this agent can focus only on this document. It can load the entire document into memory, it can analyze it, and then it can send back the answer or sub-answer or the summary to the top-level agent. And now this allows us to make sure, make sure that every single document is going to be checked by our query engine. I'm going to show you a demo uh, at the end of this video, uh, but I hope I'm making this clear. So basically imagine this like having multiple AI working for this. Uh, you can think of it like a project manager, which would ask this agent to create design for the project. This agent would be the developer who coded. This agent would be a tester who tested. And this one will be the DevOps who deployed it or anything else. Um, so let me show you first how it looks like when you try to work with mm, hundreds of documents in the old-fashioned way. So this is an example of Rack solution. Basically, we have um, our source of data. We have around 300 plus court results in a certain case. And now I'm asking our LLM, in this scenario, I'm using Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, which is uh, one of the newest and the best LLM, to analyze all the data. And now what's going to happen is that as you can see, it will try to, it will give me some answers, but as you can see, there are only limited data which were selected. So they are not all of them. There are a few of them. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, actually. So he was able to press, uh, process only eight data, eight files at the same time. If I'm gonna ask him, can you analyze all data at once. Let's see what it's going to tell me.
as you can see, I apologize, but I can analyze all the right documents at once in a comprehensive manner, the context documents containing variety information, and so on, and so on. So technically, it's not able, uh, not capable to uh, load all the data at once. And let me just quickly show you what we are dealing with. So basically, this is how it looks like. So these are all the documents which are basically related to this use case. So those are like 300 uh, 66 items, uh, so those are the court results which we need to analyze um, to in order to make sure that we get the best answer for our use case. Now let me show you how we can do it by spinning off the multi-agent solution. So this is the demo code I made for you. I'm going to link in the description down below so you can, you can check it yourself. You can run it on your own uh, and you can basically use it. Mm, so first we're going to install some dependencies, of course. Then we're going to define our PDF format because we want to parse our PDFs. And finally, we're going to download three PDF files over here. So I used as example the yearly K10 report from um, Stock Exchange. Let me show you how it looks like. So basically, these are very, very huge documents, which consist of, as you can see, 181 pages, right? Uh, so this is also another scenario where we basically uh, won't be able to load it at once to uh, most of the LLMs right now and even if we can load one probably we won't be able to load let's say 10 of those uh, to the memory. So we have three files uh, like this, such a big files for Ford, General Motors and Tesla. Uh, now we are loading them uh, to memory and then we are checking here whether uh, data was loaded correctly so we're gonna uh, check how many pages are there. Uh, we're going to display first page, middle page, and the last page. So you can check it, double check it here that it was loaded correctly, 181 pages, first, middle, last, and all, all, all the same for all of, the, all of our reports. So we have all the text parsed. Uh, now we're going to import um, API key, of course, never ever release, show, and share with anyone your open API key, of course. I'm going to remove it before publishing this video, so don't worry, it's not going to work for you. But don't forget to make sure that your key is never ever released, because otherwise you will see a huge, huge invoice from your uh, LLM provider. Um, now we're going to choose which um, LLM we want to use for that. And now finally we start building our agents. So here it is, this is the code for building agents. And now we're going to test it uh, with the single query first. Here you can see that uh, we have query for each agent, like the second level agent. And then we have, um, then we have uh, also query for the top level agent. We're going to see it soon. Uh, so as you can see, actually, we switched the model over here to GPT-4. Uh, you are a specialized agent designed to analyze the report, compound report. You must always use at least one of the tools provided with answering the question. Do not rely on the prior knowledge, right? So we are making sure that it will not relate to general knowledge of GPT. We want to rely only on the document. And now we're going to test it for the single uh, agent. So we were going to ask what are the key financial performance metrics and strategic initiatives in Ford 2024 report, right? So this is, this is how it is. We load it and now we have the question to our first agent, and this is the answer, right? So now we tested the very first agent, and let's move to the most interesting part. So now we want to actually make all agents to work together. And here it is. Uh, so as you can see, uh, we are asking for the uh, comparison, uh, for the comparison of the financial performance metrics and strategy initiatives for Ford, GM, and Tesla, and here it is. So we are starting with Ford agent. This is the summary for the Ford report. Then we have General Motors. This is the summary for the General Motors. Then we have Tesla. This is summary for Tesla. And this is the output for all of them. So all of these messages are basically reported back 
to the top level agent and here is the answer from the uh, top level and there are more um, there are more questions to ask like this so what uh, were the operating cash flows for for gm and tesla and then again each agent is giving us its own answer and then we have the answer from the top level agent so i strongly encourage you to play with it uh, you can see how does it work uh, if it works for you of course you can load many many more uh, documents actually as many as you wish uh, and yeah i mean just play with it have fun see play with the prompt see how does it work for you whether it works for you and let me know down below in the comments what are the other scenarios where you would use this approach i'm curious to know how are you guys using this and yeah basically have fun Thank you very guys for watching this video if you want to see more tutorials like this don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit this notification button this will make sure that you will never miss a next tutorial again thank you for watching and see you in the next video